again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 4th of February, 2019. You'd think that you'd be safe in your own home, wouldn't you? In a nice middle class neighborhood in Southern California. Article on CBS News. Plane crash kills five, sparks house fire, scatters debris in neighborhood outside LA. Four of those five were in the home. Five people died and two others were injured when a small plane apparently came apart, raining debris across a Southern California neighborhood and igniting house fire before landing in the backyard, authorities said Sunday. The male pilot, who was the only person in a twin-engine plane and four people in the Yorba Linda house that caught fire, died Sunday. Orange County Sheriff Lieutenant Corey Martino said in news conference Sunday night, he said the deceased occupants of the home were two males and two females. No other identifying information, such as names or ages, was immediately released. Yorba Linda is 34 miles southeast of Los Angeles. The Cessna 414A took off from the Fullerton Municipal Airport about a dozen miles west of the blaze. Federal Aviation Administration spokesman Alan Kitzner said. A two-story house burst into flames after being struck by the main cabin and one engine of the plane, sending panicked neighbors into the streets. The second engine dislodged and fell onto the street, creating a large hole in the asphalt, according to Elliot Simpson, an aviation accident investigator with the NTSB. The wounded were taken to a hospital with burn injuries, said Pokey Sanchez, an assistant chief with the Orange County Fire Authority. A firefighter was also treated for a minor injury. Video posted on Twitter showed panicked residents running to the house as it became engulfed in flames and dark smoke. One man doused a burning wing that landed on the street with a garden hose. Aerial footage taken from news helicopters showed plane parts, including side panels, and a propeller scattered on rooftops and driveways near the burned house. The main body of the twin engine plane was found in a backyard of another home, not far from the burned house. The fire spread to a SUV that was parked in the driveway. Debris was scattered over four blocks, Simpson said. There's an embedded video you might want to take a look at. It was a boom, pop! I run outside thinking somebody hit my daughter's car, witness Lori Stockhill told CBS Los Angeles. I look up. I see this huge piece. I didn't know what it was. You can just watch it in slow motion. Then I see a big cloud of smoke go up, and oh my God, it was awful. By the time I got from here to my backyard, the house was just burning. Clint Lankford, who lives about a half mile away, said he was in the living room when he heard a low rumbling. It is eerie. Low rumbling sound that keeps getting louder and louder. It was scary, he said, and then all of a sudden, boom, it shook the house. He looked out his front door and could see plane parts falling out of the sky in the distance. Pat Rogers, who lives about a mile from the crash site, told the Orange County Register he saw the plane on fire and coming apart. Rain from a winter storm helped firefighters extinguish the house fire. They planned to search the burnt house in case there were additional victims, Sanchez said. The NTSB will investigate the cause of the crash. Well, I don't know why they call this a crash when the airplane appeared to fall apart in the sky. That's pretty insane. You know, I did a video a number of years ago, a quadriplegic was flying an airplane. It had hand controls and he was with his instructor. They went into an apartment building through the roof and landed on a woman who was in her bed and her husband was in the kitchen making coffee. Folks, appreciate what you have while you have it. These four people had no clue and now, they're no longer with us. Once again, enjoy what you have for as long as you can. I'll attach the link. Take a look at it. Pass it along to like-minded friends. Repost it.
in your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.